ESA and its member states will be taking important decisions on the future of space for Europe. In Lucerne, programmes in a number of areas will be put on the table for approval, ranging from ESA's science and technology, future plans for human spaceflight and robotics, to new launches, space safety and space traffic management. The challenge is to find consensus between the member states about uh, programmes. Uh, it's a question of uh, priorities, it's a question of money. It's a question of competition between countries as well, but in a framework of cooperation. ESA recently celebrated 50 years in space. During that time, the Space Agency has sent European men and women to the International Space Station, furthered science and innovation, monitored our planet's health through Earth observation satellites and fostered international partnerships. Access to space has also helped improve our everyday lives, be it by enabling prompt action for disaster relief or simply getting from one place to another. And space applications are becoming more and more important, from programmes in partnership with the European Union like Galileo, providing Europe with its own global navigation satellite system, to Copernicus, which offers extremely valuable data to improve the understanding of our planet and its environment. All this is possible thanks to European independent access to space. Ariane 5 has now broken the record of 75 consecutive successes for European launches. At the European spaceport in Kourou, French Guiana, Ariane, together with Soyuz and Vega, are securing their road to space with the capability to send any satellite on any orbit. The next step is to develop new launches, including small launches, attain lower costs and continue to be competitive on a worldwide level. The most important success during uh, the Swiss co-presidency of ESA is that we reach uh, an agreement about uh, the free access to space and the independent access to space uh, for Europe uh, to be able to uh, start a project for a new generation of launches. The next generation of launches is needed to cope with the increasing expansion and diversity of space activities. ESA's robotic space science missions are transforming our understanding of the universe, be it by making unprecedented studies of a comet, mapping the stars in our galaxy, or testing the boundaries of new technologies. Continued funding will ensure future missions such as KEOPS, which will search for planets outside our solar system and they play a crucial role in Europe's growing space economy, which requires investments in new satellites and technologies like GlobeNet, a high-speed data network in space based on the European Data Relay System. In fact, many new ideas are on the table in all domains. In general, about principles, it's easy to, to converge. Uh, when a uh, question of money and uh, distribution of uh, industrial uh, return, uh, then uh, hard negotiations are sometimes necessary. ESA's ministerial meeting will meet these negotiations head on and will continue to fight for independent access to space to ensure a better future for Europe at a competitive price and with the best return for the economy of member states. ESA is ready to enter Space 4.0, promoting a united space in Europe for inspiration, interaction, innovation and information.